Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMind Blocks. Hope you're having a great day today. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to move your Ethereum blockchain folder from one location to another. So maybe you're like me and you've got your, uh, your Ethereum or one of your other blockchain wallet folders. Uh, maybe you put it on your local hard drive, maybe your SSD, something like that. And there your SSD is full up. So what you need to do is move your installation folder from that location to another one. So it could be an external hard drive or wherever else you've got a little bit of extra spare space. So in some uh, of the actual blockchain wallets, you can actually change the default installation directory. But with Ethereum specifically, you can't actually do that. So basically, once it's installed, that's the place it stays. However, there's a neat little trick that you can do in Windows uh, using a system called uh, Simlinks. And what that does is basically it creates a special kind of shortcut where Ethereum can't tell that it's a shortcut and it just basically is like a pass through. Um, so it's a special kind of folder shortcut whereby you can have your Ethereum wallet uh, somewhere else rather than its default installation folder. So this is something that I sort of uh, come across and I'm going to be sharing the actual process with you. I think it will be uh, useful for you guys. So I'm going to jump over to the screen share now and I'll talk you through the actual process. Okay, let's get started. So you can see my local drive, my C drive, which is my SSD, is just about full. If you go to my Ethereum folder, which is C, users, Lee, application data, roaming, and then you have Ethereum. That's where your Ethereum chain data is stored. Um, also your keys are stored in there as well. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna copy that entire folder, and we're actually gonna copy it over to my uh, internal drive, which is drive F, and I've just put it in the folder, crypto coins. So you can see I've actually already started that copying process. So all I've done is copied my Ethereum folder to a new location. So you guys want to do that same thing as well. And then you're just going to let the whole thing copy over. Once it's completed, you'll have effectively two copies, one in the old location and one in the new location. I'm just going to take an ad extra additional step. I'm just going to also copy my key store, which is your Ethereum wallets themselves. And I'm just going to paste them onto my desktop just so I've got a bit of extra protection. So you can see those are on the desktop there. Just taking an extra moment just to double check. I've got uh, copies of all the important stuff. So now we're going to go back to the Ethereum folder. And now we can actually delete the whole uh, contents of the Ethereum folder. They're quite big, so we're not actually going to put them in the recycle bin. They're going to be permanently deleted. So before you take any of these actions, double check and just make sure you've got a, a good copy of everything, particularly your Ethereum wallet keys. Uh, once that's complete, we can open up a command window. So you just type command in the start box, uh, then right click on the actual icon because we need to run it as an administrator. Okay, so within the actual command window, we type mklink space forward slash j. And then we want to enter the original location of our Ethereum or your blockchain folder. So in my case, it's C colon backslash users slash Lee slash app data slash roaming slash Ethereum. So that's our original location. Then we do a space and then we want to enter the new location. So where the shortcut is going to point to. So you can see it just as I move the window down, we've got the new location there. So it's F colon backslash and it's going to be crypto coins and then backslash Ethereum. So we've got the old location and now the new location. Uh, once we're happy with all that, double check everything and then we just hit enter. Okay, so we've got a slight little problem here. So it says cannot create file when the file already exists. 
So it's actually because um, I've actually left the root Ethereum folder in our roaming folder. So we already deleted the contents, but we actually also need to delete the original, the, the folder itself. So we're going to delete the Ethereum folder. We've just done that. And then we'll just try that again. Okay, so it says junction created for the specified location. So now you can see on the original uh, folder location, we've got a uh, new Ethereum folder, but you can see it's like linked as a little shortcut. But now what actually happens is it's a special kind of shortcut that the computer can't tell it's a shortcut. So when any program kind of uh, goes to access that folder, it automatically redirects to the new location, which is actually on a entirely different drive. And you can just tell that just by the little shortcut icon. So now I'm just going to open up our Ethereum wallet and just double check and make sure it loads up normally. It is worth noticing that if you move your blockchain folders from an SSD to a traditional mechanical type hard drive, uh, you will notice slower access times. Uh, particularly when downloading or reading from the actual blockchain. Okay, so my balance is correct and all of my individual address wallets are there, so that's good. Um, the wallet is just connecting to some peers and then it should start downloading the remainder of the blockchain to get synchronized. Uh, yep, you can see it's just started now. So what I'll show you is just the actual uh, blockchain being accessed. And I'll show you how that's being accessed from the new location and not the local C drive. Okay, so I've just opened up the resource manager and you can see at the top it's GEF and it's accessing the blockchain via F, CryptoCoin slash Ethereum. So it's re-downloading parts of the most recent part of the blockchain. So you can see it's being accessed on the, the F drive, not the original C drive. So that folder link is working perfectly. Okay, and just to show you how it looks now, so you can see on my local C drive, I now have got 45.5 gigabytes free, and the space on the drive F has also increased slightly. So now I've got some extra free space to work with. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, if it's been useful, then please give it a like. If you like this type of content, want to learn more about cryptocurrency mining and how to manage your files, wallets, all that kind of business, be sure to subscribe. Um, I upload videos like this on a regular basis and it'd be great to have you as part of our community. If you've got any questions or comments, put those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you or maybe the, one of the other viewers um, can help you out with your problems. Um, that's it for this one. I hope to see you guys on the next video.